Hey everybody, this is Rafi at Zurb and welcome to Foundation's installation video. So I got this video for you to just go over the basic ways to install and get started with Foundation. So we have our installation page here on the Foundation docs and you'll see that there's lots of options. So we have a command line tool, we have manual setup, and Zurb template and a CSS download and uh, some more information here. So I just wanna go over what some of these different options are and maybe help you find out which one is right for you. So if you've never used SAS before or written in SAS um, and you just wanna get started with foundation really quickly and easily, then the CSS download might be right for you. Now you can get that right here from the docs by clicking download CSS version. It's going to take you over to the homepage, uh, sorry, to the download page on Foundation. And then from here, we have some different options. So we have another video that goes more into depth on what you get with this package, but from here you can choose the complete version of Foundation CSS. If you download this, it'll get you a download file uh, zip of all the uh, CSS and the JavaScript that's needed to use Foundation right away. So all you need from there is a text editor to get started. Uh, then we also have an essentials package and that's more of a slimmed down version of the Foundation CSS. So it just includes some of the essentials. And you can also customize. So from here, you could choose what specific foundation components that you'd like to include in the download. You can remove the ones that you know you're not gonna use. If you're not sure, just go ahead and, and download the uh, complete package. But if you do know what you want and what you don't want, then go ahead and customize it here and then hit download custom build at the bottom. Of course, you can also uh, customize some of these other things like the number of columns uh, for the grid, total gutter, max width, and then uh, your color palette as well. So these are things to just speed it up for you if, you're, if you know you're gonna change them um, down the road. Because it is a CSS version, you'll have to find the CSS and change it in the CSS file if you'd like to do that. So that is the quickest way to get started with foundation. So hopping back over to the installation page, another way to get started with foundation and this is the more advanced, powerful way to get started with Foundation is to use the SAS version. So SAS is an advanced version of CSS. Uh, they call it CSS with superpowers and we really agree with that. Uh, so we use SAS here at Zurb uh, and what it is is a version or a superset of CSS that allows you to do a lot more powerful things. So things like nesting CSS. So here we have a selector with another uh, element inside of it and see how it's nested. You can keep your code nicely organized. Um, you can write less CSS. This would be the equivalent of typing in uh, hero and then dot hero content. Um, so it really saves you a lot of coding. You can use things like mixins to really save a lot of code and, and type faster and build faster. Um, but there's a lot of other things like variables and you get access to foundation settings file. So foundation has a ton of settings to let you quickly theme your site the way that you need to. Color palettes, backgrounds, font weights. You could adjust the breakpoints. You can add breakpoints. You could change the row and, and column padding and uh, and the amount of columns that are inside of a row. So all kinds of things that you could do with the SAS version that are much trickier to do with the CSS version. So it's really powerful. So one way to get started with that would be the command line tool. So we built this command line tool uh, to help you create foundation projects really quickly and easily. So to install this, you will need a copy of Node uh, and we have a different video on that whole installation. 
Um, but once you have the foundation CLI installed, um, it's really quite cool and powerful. So you can do foundation dash, uh, foundation space new. And when you do that, it's going to start the foundation CLI. It's gonna ask you, are you building a website or maybe you, even if you wanna use a foundation for emails. So from here, you can choose website, you can name your project, and then you can choose the basic template or the Zurb template, which I'm going to cover here in a moment. And once you select one of those, it's off to the races and starts building your project. So the command line tool uh, does a lot of installation magic for you behind the scenes. Um, once you install it, you're, you're good to go. Um, it also works with uh, Foundation's building blocks, which is really cool. So another way to install is you could do this manually. So if you don't wanna use the Foundation CLI, um, then you can do a manual setup. So there's a basic template. Basic template comes with uh, just a SAS preprocessor and auto prefixer. Um, so if you just need a basic uh, SAS preprocessor um, built into Gulp, uh, then you can definitely use the basic template. Here at Zurb on all of our client projects and, and I think most everybody out in the world that uses um, foundation with a SAS version uses the Zurb stack or the Zurb template as it's named here. And this is a more advanced template. So if we were to look this up, I could show you what uh, the installation looks like. So let's take a look at what the Zurb template looks like just so you know what it is. So this is an example of a Zurb stack project, and you can see that it comes with um, a build system. So it uses Gulp uh, to do a lot of automated tasks, and um, Bower and NPM are the package managers that manage all the dependencies. So if we open up the source folder, you can see that there's already a project structure here uh, provided for you. So you have a place for your images, a place for your JavaScript, your SCSS can go in a components folder. It really gives you a um, structured way to create your projects. Now we have another video on this that goes more in depth, so we're not going to spend too much time here uh, for this video, but that is the Zurb stack. And uh, there is installation instructions here uh, to get that going. You can either manually install it or use the foundation CLI. And moving down the line, uh, we have some information on our starter templates here. Um, so if you want to learn how the basic starter templates um, work and what you need to just set up each page, then that is contained here. Otherwise, we also have this in another video that explains the uh, CSS version starter package. Now you can also um, use foundation with CDNs. So CDN is a content delivery network. And basically this is just a um, CSS and JavaScript file that is hosted on the web. So you can actually take these, um, these style sheet links and put them into the head of your page and they're going to um, link up your HTML and your JavaScript so you can actually use foundation without installing it or downloading it. So, this could be added to any um, boilerplate and then you're good to go with foundation. And of course, if you're using package managers, we have pretty much every major package manager available with foundation. So uh, you could do an NPM install of foundation sites, Bower, Meteor, Composer, and if you're on you know, a Windows environment, NuGet packages are available as well. So there's a lot of ways to get started. There's even a Rails version of Foundation. So that is uh, kept on github.com slash zurb slash foundation dash rails. And you can get all the setup instructions there. So uh, that's maintained on GitHub. So that is an official Rails package if you're using Rails. If you're using um, 
WordPress or Django or some of these other integrations, uh, check out our resources page and you'll find some um, pre-built uh, blank themes with those integrations already set up. So tons of ways to get started with foundation. Uh, so I hope this video helps you find the right one that is for you. Now, if you're looking to get a deep dive on foundation, we're teaching our intro to foundation class and I'll put the link below. It is the fastest way to learn foundation. And this is Rafi from Zurb signing off. Thanks for watching.